everybody welcome back to my channel so today's video is extra extra special because i am starting my hormone replacement therapy with you guys if you have not caught up on my previous video about where i am with my endometriosis journey and you know all of that good stuff go watch that video and then come back to this video so in that video, I told you guys that my appointment was in a couple weeks. I was going to meet with my doctor and then, you know, we were going to figure out when I would be starting hormone replacement therapy. Um, let me reiterate that I do not have a uterus, nor do I have any ovaries. So there is nothing happening in my body right now as far as, you know, hormones. There, it's, it's dead. There is nothing going on. So... Unfortunately, endometriosis is a disease that feeds off of, you know, the hormones that, you know, my our ovaries produce. And so the removal of them and my uterus was the last straw in my case. And so I did what I had to do, basically. So I'm at a point where I'm about seven, eight months post-op from my hysterectomy the best decision of my life. <laughs> I love it here. Um, and so this is the time where we start to introduce, you know, uh, hormones back into my body. And so my doctor was like, great, you know, as long as you're comfortable, let's do it. Let's start you with, you know, a really low dose of estrogen. And, you know, we'll just follow back up in a couple months and we'll go from there. So my doctor is starting me on estradiol patches. I chose the patch, just a personal preference. I take a, like quite a few vitamins every day, so I just didn't want to add to that with a pill. And they have like aerosols and stuff like that, but I was just like, you know what? Let's just try a patch. So I am being started on the 0 0.05 milligram patches, and this is like the lowest you can get. Um, I think it, I'm pretty sure it's the lowest you can get. Um, and so it's just a continuous delivery. So it just, you know, as long as it's on, it's working. And so you just change it, you know, you change it on the same day. So I'm putting it on today and now I'll change it next Saturday and, you know, every week. And so I'm just, I'm really nervous right now, guys, because uh, it's just so much like mentally and emotionally that I'm feeling right now with starting, you know, the hormone therapy um, because I don't have, you know, any hormones going on right now. Like my I have severe hot flashes like I like at night I will literally jump out the bed and like be drenching in sweat sometimes have to take my clothes off or have to go take a shower you know sometimes if I'm sweating like I will have to go just hop in a shower because the hot flashes are so just strong it literally feels like a furnace starting from the bottom of my feet like that's how excuse me that's how severe the hot flashes are and just the mood swings and it's just so much. It's so much. So I am, I'm really nervous, but yeah, I'm still excited to be able to hopefully find some relief and some balance to, you know, everything happening in my body, you know, right now. So that's, that's where I'm at kind of with it. I just, I don't know. I feel like I haven't really had time to like process everything because dealing with this disease, it has been like, you know, bam, 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 bam. One thing to the next. I haven't had time to really feel, you know, I feel like the way I should, you know, the way I need to. So it kind of sucks because I have to like flash through everything. But you know what? I'm, I'm grateful to just be on, you know, the better side of this disease now because it's been a long time coming. So yeah, I just, that's where I'm at with it. I never, you know, was on birth control for like, you know, long periods, like, you know, majority of the women that I personally know, I just could not get into it. Like my doctor, you know, in the beginning phases of trying to treat my endometriosis, I would like start the birth control and I'd go back to the doctor. I go back to my doctor and he'd be like, okay, why, why have you not been taking this? <laughs> have y'all seen the gif of Odell Beckham and P Diddy? And Diddy's like, and Odell's like, I'm Odell and my doctor is P. Diddy. <laughs> Just for like a live action, like real, that's really how it be. When I would go to the doctor, when I would go see him and he'd be like, okay, so you've been taking your birth control? And I'm like, and he like, you dead ass right now. 
I'm dead serious. I was not taking that birth control. I'm like, I don't even know where it's at. <laughs> so that's how much I just, I just could never, I could never get into it. I just was always afraid of gaining weight, always afraid of the acne. I was just always too scared of the side effects. So I would do it for like a month or two. Like, all right, you getting like a good six to eight weeks out of me of this. And then <laughs> we're going to have to move on to the next thing. <laughs> so yeah I just was never but now I don't have a choice I don't have a choice but to have the hormones because what a lot of people don't know and what I didn't know you know for the most part was that not lacking these hormones not having these hormones is like you know you have to have hormones because as a woman like you it can cause cardiovascular issues down the line I knew about the osteoporosis um you know which is like the when your bones become brittle i knew about that and i thought that was like the main thing i had no idea about like the cardiovascular issues and the the cognitive issues that you know being without these hormones can cause and so i'm like okay girl you do not have a choice like you have to do this <laughs> so i listen i'm about to put this thing on and rock it out so I have been trying to decide where I want to put it at. I don't know if I want to put it on my butt. I don't know if I want to put it on my arm, but I think I'm just, I'm just going to go with my arm up here. I wanted to shy away from this because I literally was like, I do not want to walk around looking like I got a nicotine patch. On. <laughs> like I smoke or something. I did not want to walk around looking like that. But everywhere else is like, I don't want it to, you know, like, crease up and you know malfunction and maybe not work <laughs> so I think it's just best that I go right here because it's like you know it's still like fatty because that's the most important part is that where you put the patch is fatty so that you know it absorbs the you know the medication and stuff like that so I, th I guess I'm just gonna have to look like a a cigarette smoker y'all so let's get into it let's open it let's see I'm so okay so there's four so because you change them weekly four is you know four a month these are huge what the heck i was not expecting these to be this big maybe i'm being dramatic y'all think i'm being dramatic okay open up i'm so scared <laughs> okay Okay, let's see. Um, apply immediately upon apply immediately upon removal from pouch. Okay, y'all, I'm like about to start shaking right now. So this is the patch. Okay, it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look as bad as I. <laughs> it doesn't look as bad as I thought it was gonna look. Okay, so wait, is there any other direct? I'm just opening stuff. Okay. Usual dosage. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, there's no other, you know. Okay, apply patch to a clean, dry, hair-free area of the skin. Alternate the application area with each change. I don't have much hair right here, so yeah. All right, y'all, let's do it. This is really cool. I thought it was going to look all, you know. Y'all, y'all ready? I, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm asking y'all if y'all ready, like y'all putting a patch on or something. <laughs> okay. I just have to keep in mind, like, this is important. Like, my overall health is dependent upon this. It kind of feels weird. Like I just got a shot or something low key. Like it kind of, my arm kind of swelled up a little bit. Wow, this is, and it's durable, like movement. Like it's not even, it's literally not creasing, moving or anything. Like this is really 
durable. Let me turn so you guys can see. <laughs> Not me posing, y'all. <laughs> so yeah, this is really, my arm does feel a little, like immediately, like felt a little weird. And you shower with it and stuff. Like you don't take it off. You shower with it. You, you know, you live life with it. So, yeah. Okay. But yeah, it's crazy how immediately my arm felt weird. Um. So yeah, that's it, guys. Like I said, 0 0.05 milligrams. We're starting really low. Um. You know, just for the buildup, just so my body can build up to it. Cause I've been, you know, haven't had hormones in a long time. So yeah, that's it. Wow. I can't believe, wow. I feel weird. I just, ooh. so I go back to the doctor in three months, um, like, you know, just to follow up, see how I'm doing on this dosage, see, you know, what the treatment plan is going to be. Am I, you know, cool right, th right here, you know, at the 0 0.05? Am I going to increase? You know, we'll figure all that out. Um, so I will be coming back with a, you know, a, of course, a follow-up video, you know, to let you guys know how, you know, it's been going, you know, symptoms, side effects, all that jazzy stuff. So in the meantime, um, I hope I pretty much answered everything, you know, for anybody, you know, wondering how, how hormone replacement works. But as always, if you guys have any questions, you know, drop them in the comments or, you know, reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter. Um, and I'm always, you know, open to chat and just, of course, like share my knowledge. So that is all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And until next time, thanks guys. Thank you.